Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you the fastest way to update Portainer in Open Media Vault 5. So this morning I logged into my Portainer and noticed that there was a new version available. Uh, it says it down here as well as talking about it up in here. And so I went over to the Portainer page and I actually found uh, that this release happened about 15 hours ago. So I'm still pretty new to Docker and Portainer and all of that kind of thing. And I wasn't sure the easiest process to update Portainer to the newest version. So I jumped on Google and I did a search for how to update Portainer and I ran across this video um, from uh, Alan Sampwell where he goes into a very great amount of detail about how to update Portainer through SSH and that sort of thing. So while Alan did a great job explaining everything in a lot of great detail, uh, 15 minutes for this video uh, is a bit much for what I want to deal with. I'm all about quick and easy. So uh, I want to show you the fastest way I found to update Portainer in Open Media Vault 5. So in order to do this, what we're actually going to do is go back to our Open Media Vault uh, dashboard here. We're going to go over here to uh, OMV Extras. We'll click on Docker. Well, I'll come over here to where it says Portainer. We're going to click that. And even though it's already installed, we're going to go ahead and install it again. So here you can see that it's going through a whole bunch of stuff here where it's uh, downloading stuff and removing stuff and deleting stuff and pulling new uh, Portainer down. Uh, so it's going to go through this whole process. So now we can go ahead and click close there. Now I can come back over and refresh the screen. I'll have to log in, of course. And just like that, now we're on 1.23.1, which matches with the newest version here. So I'm fully aware that this may not be the best way or the only way to update Portainer in Open Media Vault 5, but it is by far probably the fastest way to do it. Just go into Open Media Vault, go to your extras, go to Docker, install Portainer over Portainer, and it takes care of itself all on its own. So very, very fast, just a couple of clicks, and you're good to go with the newest version of Portainer in Open Media Vault 5. So I think that's gonna cover pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up, but help me out a bunch. Uh, also, if you like these kind of home server tutorials using Open Media Vault 5, definitely subscribe because I've got several more videos uh, that, that I've got planned to show you how to install different things and do different things with your Open Media Vault server. Also below there will be a link to a playlist of all of my Open Media Vault 5 videos. So definitely check those out if you're interested in that kind of content. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.